Let's get in the weeds with the Parda API query authentication sunset and other imminent disasters such as my creek overflowing. What we're looking at is this second gray bar with saying uh, action required beginning on February 14th. Things are going to break. Um, click over to our API usage page to view the status. And if we click on that API usage page, we're going to see this screen. And when we look at it, we're going to get a screen with some numbers and, and whatnot on it. And if we switch over to what, an example of what this can look like. We have a section that says uses deprecated auth. Yes. That's on a read, and that's with the username of this particular user, which is a part out API user plus custom at you know the domain.com, which is what we want to use for our users. Every API integration wants its own user, so that way when we have issues like this, we know exactly what tool is broken. So I can see here that my Drift integration is working fine, my Engageo integration is working fine, my Heroku integration is working fine but this particular custom integration isn't working. What does this mean? Um, if we switch and look at what's going on under the hood, when we log in to Pardot, as we're doing here, this is Postman. So I've got this post URL across the top and I'm passing in an email address, a password and a user key, the API user key. Um, and when we send this, I get a user an auth key back, um, this API key back, right? So when we do a prospect read, which is what this was reading here, it's prospect read using deprecated auth, what that means is when we go to use that, we're passing in via query parameters, the user key and the API key. And we're passing those in on, on the URL string on a get and that's that's going to be well that is no longer re, uh, accepted it hasn't been accepted for a year but Pardot didn't turn this off all the way well we're going to get it turned off for real here in a few days what we really want to do is we will look at a prospect read we don't want to use the query parameters anymore what we really want is we actually want to put that into the headers so we have this authorization header where we pass in the pardot user key, user key, and API key, API key. We need to pass those in on, on the header. That's the change. That's what's breaking is this method is no longer going to work. Um, it's been in the specifications for a long, long time that it's not working. Um, we got to switch it. Now, some of the libraries we're using, they haven't been updated yet. Um, so, I was looking at my code earlier today and or earlier this week, and hey, I thought I'd fix this in my code, and um, no, I hadn't published the changes. I fixed it, but I just didn't publish it. So, um, you know, these things happen. Uh, it's challenging because a lot of the times the, the API integrators don't use Pardot, they don't see these notices, and they don't know that this stuff's broken, and there's no way that Pardot really can let these people know that our stuff's broken unless one of us tells them. So that's getting into the weeds on the Pardot API query, authentication sunset, and lots of rain and lots of flooding, and it's starting to rain harder, and my umbrella is not covering me anymore, so I gotta go.